What is up everybody, my name is Justin, this is Forever Self Employed and in today's video we're going to be talking about a customer that refused to pay me because I did a job too quickly. In today's video I'm going to walk you guys through how to avoid this because I did make one crucial error that ultimately led to this, at least I believe it did, and although it cost me in this situation, it also landed me a ton of jobs as well. So I'm going to be going through that in today's video, that's going to be the big learning lesson, uh, but I'm also going to tell you guys a story about the time that the lady refused to pay me because I did the job too quickly. But before we get into that, we're doing 40% off every product on our resource page for the next 48 hours for Black Friday when you use code 40 at checkout. So if you ever wanted to get how to wash, local domination, Facebook ad strategy, the Christmas light course, everything, the contract, the price will never be cheaper than what it is for the next two days. So check it out. It'll be first link in the comment section and the description and get it before it's too late. Less than 48 hours left. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. I don't want to make it seem like this issue happened a lot uh, because in the six years that I have been doing this, providing services like lawn care, landscape, pressure washing it's only happened this one particular time and in this circumstance it happened when I was in my first year of business and as I alluded to earlier I kind of did it to myself in a way so I was doing a ton of landscaping jobs at the time and for anybody who doesn't know uh, that's how I started my pressure washing business I would leverage my landscaping clients into pressure washing jobs uh, so I landed this using my Facebook ad strategy before it was Justin's Facebook ad strategy because in this time it was the golden age of Facebook ads uh, where they were super cheap and you could get a ton of customers off of bad ads because there's basically no competition especially for landscaping like even today I'm sure I could still get tons and tons and tons of jobs with bad landscaping ads because I think there's just a lot of people that need landscaping and not a lot of people that actually provide it but nobody was really advertising at the time nowadays you have to be a little bit more tactical like I said unless it's a super niche service that nobody is advertising advertising for then you're in a gold mine of opportunity but anyway I did a quote on pulling weeds trimming shrubs and then laying down new mulch in this lady's flower bed and I think it might have been for like $475 or something probably right under 500 this was at the time where I was trying to make at least $30 an hour so my prices were super super low especially for landscaping because that work is really too hard to be charging so cheap so Anyway, she agreed to the price. Whenever I sent it over to her, I went out and did everything in about six hours. And when I knocked on the door to tell her I was done, she was a little bit confused. Uh, she said, you're already done, as if she assumed that it was gonna take me several days to complete this job. Uh, it was a big flower bed, to be honest. There was like a huge flower bed wrapping around the front yard. There was like another section around a few trees in the backyard, as well as like a side bed. So it was a good amount of work that needed to be done. But at the time, I was doing landscaping jobs left, right, and center pretty much every other day whenever I was off of school and so I was pretty quick I developed workflows um, I was able to get the job done more efficiently more effectively than I was whenever I first started doing this type of work so I said yes ma'am uh, you want to go ahead and take a look at everything pretty much as I typically do I would walk the property with the homeowner whenever I was done to make sure that they were happy with everything before I collected payment and left uh, Now I don't remember exactly what she said while we were walking around the property I just remember her giving off the vibe that she liked how everything had turned out but she felt like I was ripping her off or taking advantage of her because after we looked at everything, she said, okay, I'm paying you $70 an hour then. And I just remember being uncomfortable in the situation and kind of confused because typically after a job, the customer's super happy and uh, I got paid immediately after I busted my ass for the entire day and I would just go home. Uh, but in the circumstance, that was not how it ended up. I just said, yeah, we agreed upon a price for the work and the work is completed. And so I'd like to be paid for the work that I did. This isn't necessarily you paying by the hour. It's just the quote that I did for the entire job so after we had kind of gone back and forth a few different times she just went ahead and paid me and the vibe that I got from her was that I was getting one over on her and I kind of now think I know what the reasoning was for that so let's go ahead and get into my fatal flaw uh, that may have caused this issue and it goes back to my positioning that I used to use uh, at the time whenever I was getting jobs and landing jobs so back in the day I leaned really heavily into the fact that I was a college student working to make some money to pay my way through college I would also quote in person and every time I'd walk the property with the homeowner, I would take pictures. And, um, you know, when it kind of came time for me to leave or give them a price, I'd say, you know, I consult my dad on pricing. So let me go back and talk through everything with them. And then I'll send you back over a price. I did this for two reasons. I didn't want to give the customer a price uh, on the spot because I didn't want to underbid. It was kind of hard to bid on the spot. Also, it was good to kind of go back, look at the pictures, kind of dial in on everything that was going to need to be done. And uh, that allowed me more time to get them a price. So I would say, I'm going to go over everything with my dad and I'll send you a price. So everything about my pitch to the customer was that I was a kid who did good work, but I wasn't 
you know, like a real legitimate business. And this helped me in a way because it set expectations super low with customers on the front end, which may sound bad, but it was really a good thing for my business because it was really easy to exceed those expectations because at the end of the day, I'm just a college student. So people were typically super pleased with the work that I did. It also gave the impression, which may or may not have been the case, that my prices were lower than a legitimate company with workers and overhead. And then lastly, people felt like by hiring me that they were supporting me and my business while I was going to school kind of like they were doing me a favor a little bit and all this was done intentionally all this was done in order to stack the deck in my favor which is something that i always tell you guys to do as well stack the deck in your favor with whatever circumstance that you are in but when you guys are marketing when you're selling when you're presenting yourself to the customer always be mindful of your positioning to the customer because my buddies mike aaron and cody position themselves and their service and their business as a luxury service so that also comes with a luxury price tag and it's also expected that it's going to come with a luxury price tag when you position that way but for myself i positioned as a good old boy and what do you get with a good old boy you get a good old boy job and you get a good old boy price and so i kind of brought that on myself i kind of brought on to myself the fact that she was upset with me that she felt like i was getting one over on her because she thought i should be charging her a better hourly rate so i hope you guys can learn from this that be mindful of your positioning when you're selling when you're pricing when you're quoting when you're marketing when you're doing the whole thing because positioning does matter and it sets a frame for what the customer is to expect with regards to what the price is going to be how good the work is going to be and all of those different factors so anyway if you guys haven't already check out the 40 percent off sale that we're doing like i said less than 48 hours to take advantage of that and get every product on the resource page for 40 percent off but my name is justin this is forever self-employed and until next time hustle hard and get that money baby peace